For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used 2.5 skeins of Red Heart Super Saver in medium time and some Karen 1 pound in lace. As for tools, a 5mm hook, stitch markers, scissors, and a tape measure. We're using 4 stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain Slip stitch Single crochet Half double crochet this tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this sweater started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 5mm hook, and we're going to start off by making a chain that goes from our underarm down to where you want the bottom of this top to be, keeping in mind that we will have our bottom border as well, and I'm going to make a chain of 21 inches or 30 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do is block off that last chain that we just did, do a chain up of two, this counts as a half double crochet, and we're going to go into our first chain that we blocked off with a half double crochet. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off, or the third loop from the hook, we're going to yarn over, pull through, we should have three loops on the hook, we're going to yarn over, pull through all three. And that is our first half double crochet, let's do the next one together, prepare for a half double crochet, into the next loop, insert completely, there we go, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And from there we're just going to continue doing half double crochets all the way down. We have just finished up going all the way down with our first row of half double crochet, and this next row is going to be a row of back loop slip stitches with an increase at the end. So once when we get here, our increase is actually going to be a chain up, of two for our slip stitches. We're going to flip our work and then that second loop that we have or the loop that's closest to the hook, we're going to be skipping that and then be inserting our hook into this loop that we have right here with a slip stitch. So we're going to go into that back loop, insert, yarn over, pull through two, and then that's how we increase with our slip stitch row. And then once we have this, we're going to be going into that next back loop with another slip stitch. So we're going to insert, yarn over, through everything. And then once we have that, let's do one more together, insert into the next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything, and keep doing this all the way down. Once we make it to the end, we're going to switch back to doing our half double crochet row, but that will be in through the back loops as well. But I'll meet you guys back once we get there so that we can start that off together. Once when we have gone all the way down with our row of back loop slip stitches, we're going to do back loop half double crochets. And on this side, we're going to keep the side blunt, whereas where we did the increase of back loop slip stitches, we're only going to be increasing on this side. So once we get here, we're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. Flip our work, we're going to prepare for a half double crochet and go into that first back loop with a half double crochet. And we're going to continue going into the back loops going all the way down once we make it to the end we're going to be doing an increase into that last loop so i'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together we've just done our back loop half double crochets going all the way down and we left that last loop so that we can do our increase together so we're going to prepare for a half double crochet into this last back loop we're going to be putting two half double crochets into that same loop we're going to insert pull through yarn over, pull through all three into that last loop, and we're going to do this just one more time, prepare for a half double, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and that is our increase that we have on this side, and I'm just going to show you guys how to do an increase for our back loop slip stitches again, and then we will go for it from there. So once we get here up to the next row that we're doing, which is back loop slip stitches, we're going to do a chain up of two flip our work and then into the second loop that we have from our hook we're going to be going into that back loop with a slip stitch so we're going to skip this first one go into that second one we're going to yarn over pull through everything and once we have that we're going to insert into the next back loop with a slip stitch so yarn over pull through everything and continue to do this all the way down once we make our way to the end we are going to chain up two do back loop half double crochets all the way down once we make it to that last loop do an increase which is two back loop half double crochets into the same loop and continue to do this pattern until 
This portion reaches the front of your body. And from there, we're gonna make a chain that shoots straight up to our collarbone. But I'll meet you guys back once when we have this portion all finished up. We now have the side panel all finished up and the side panel is rows of back loop half double and back loop slip stitches while increasing on one side and keeping the other side all blunt. And just to let you guys know from the first row that we did all the way up until this last row, I have a total of four inches or 10 centimeters. And then now once we get here, we're going to make sure that we end on our increase side. But now we're just going to put this up to ourselves and then measure out from where we ended up to about where our collarbone is. And then whatever that measurement is, we're going to make a chain that is that length. And I have a total of three inches or eight centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're going to continue on with our pattern the same exact way that we've been doing. So since we're working back down towards our blunt end, we're going to be going in with a row of back loop slip stitches. So we're going to block off that last loop, chain up one, and then into that loop that we blocked off, or the second loop from the hook, we're going to be going in with a back loop slip stitch. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down the chain, all the way down the body. Once we make it to the end, we're going to do our chain up of two, flip our work, and do more back loop half double crochets. And we're going to do that all the way up the body, even up this chain that we just made for ourselves. And we're going to keep that blunt, so no increases or decreases once we get to this point. And then so from there, we're just gonna keep going back and forth, keeping both ends blunt until this reaches across your chest. And then we're going to do another one of these decrease portions on the other side so that it can match. So go ahead and do this part and then I'll meet you guys back once we have that little chunk and then I'll let you guys know what my measurement is once when we get there. This is what things are looking like once when I have finished up doing the length of this blunt part that goes from one side of our neck all the way down to the other and as you guys can see it looks super clean. And just to let you guys know from this chunk to this chunk I have a total of 4 inches or 10 centimeters. Now, the next thing that we're going to have to do is do the same thing that we have here, but go in with decreases into every other row. So, the next portion that we're going to have to do right before we get started is one, making sure that we end down here at the blunt end so that once we get here, we don't have to cut and tie. We can just work our way up. And then also go ahead and count out, see how many loops we have on this extra chain chunk that we did to extend up to our collarbone. We're going to take that number and then count down from this corner and then we're going to insert our stitch marker and that is the easiest way that I figured out how to do it. And then from here we're going to continue on with the pattern. I'm going to work my way up with rows of back loop half double crochet all the way up until I have just two loops left right before I get to this stitch marker and then we're going to do a decrease but I'll show you guys how to do that once when we get there. But you guys should already know once when you get down here chain up two and then go on with your half double crochet rows in the back loop. We've just made our way all the way down to where our stitch marker is and now we're going to do a decrease. So all we're going to do is make sure our yarn is on our hook properly. What we're going to do is prepare for a half double crochet, insert into that first loop, yarn over pull through, and then insert into that back loop that our stitch marker is in. You can take that out, yarn over pull through, yarn over, pull through all four, and that is our half double crochet decrease. Don't mind the sunlight. We have some lighting issues right now, but once we have this, we're going to chain up one, flip our work, and then once we have that, we're going to insert our hook into that next loop, yarn over, pull through, into the loop after that, yarn over, pull through. This is going to be a back loop slip stitch decrease. <laughs> then we're going to yarn over, pull through all three. And then once we have that, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through everything, and continue doing back loop slip stitches going all the way back down. And once we make our way back with back loop half double crochets, decrease going into the last two loops as well. And then once we have that, we are going to continue to go down until we have this same size that we have right here. And then once we have the same size, we can cut and tie and do the same exact thing that we have here, but another panel. This is the shape that we should have once when we have our second side all finished up. And now we can introduce our other side and now we can start attaching things and please don't mind that this is only a quarter of the work we were under a time crunch but what you should have is exactly the same as the first half how we're going to attach this side is since our hook is already into this side we're just going to grab our other panel we're going to insert our hook into that corresponding corner into the other panel and from here we're going to yarn over pull through everything 
And from here, we're just going to go in with a row of single crochet that goes all the way down, making sure that we're going in through the front loops and the back loops all at the same time. So into this front panel, we're going to insert a hook into the first available loop and into the back panel, into the next available loop. We should have both panels on our hook. Once we have that, we're going to pull through, pull through two, and that is our single crochet. Let's do this just one more time into the next available loop that we have in the front panel and then the next available loop in the back panel. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down. Once we make it to the end, we are going to cut and tie. And then we're going to start working on the sleeve portion. Now that we have these pieces all connected, what we're going to do is now go in with a chain that connects one corner to the next corner. So what you're going to want to do is put this up to yourself and then measure from this. It's going to go up and over your shoulder to this corner. And I already measured mine out. Mine is going to be a total of four inches or 11 centimeters. So we're just going to insert our hook into this first corner loop. Insert our yarn onto our hook, chain through, and then we're going to make a chain that goes from here all the way over to this corner with whatever measurement you guys have. We now have our chain and all we're going to do is insert our hook into this corner loop with a slip stitch. So it's in, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything. And then from here, we're going to go around what we just made for ourselves with a row of single crochet. So this part's going to be super easy. We're just going to chain up one and put one single crochet into every loop that we have, including this increase or decrease section. And there's not going to be any real loops for us to go into. So we're just going to have to eyeball it but make sure you don't put too many single crochets into one area, otherwise it'll bunch up. But go ahead and keep doing that along everything we just did, including the chain. Once we make it to back over here, we're going to connect with a slip stitch, and then we're gonna start working on the rest. This is what we should have once when we have gone all the way around with our row of single crochet. And for this next part, we're going to start it off a little bit differently than how we usually do. So we're gonna start off with the sleeve, and how we typically start is from the bottom and that measurement is shorter than when we would start at the top because the top we obviously need to go up and over our shoulder but for this portion since we're working with this stitch we're going to start from the top and we're going to work our way down one side to the middle or the bottom of where we have our sleeve and then work our way back up again so with that being said you can try this on again and then you're going to figure out where this middle point is in the chain that we just made for ourselves and then from this point, you're going to measure all the way down to where you want the sleeve to end, keeping in mind that we're going to have a cuff as well. So into that middle point, all I'm going to do is insert my hook, pull through, and then I'm going to make a chain that comes out to 20 inches or 51 centimeters. Once we have our chain, we're going to start off by doing a row of half double crochet, just like how we started off the body portion. So we're going to block off that last chain to a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. Prepare for a half double crochet and then into that loop that we blocked off or the third loop from our hook, we're gonna go in with one half double crochet. And then from here, we're gonna go all the way down putting one half double crochet into every loop, excluding the last two loops because we're gonna be doing a decrease into there. But I'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together. We've made our way all the way down our chain, leaving the last two loops, and now we're gonna do a decrease into those two loops. And it's gonna be the same decrease that we did earlier. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook, pull through into the next loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops. We're gonna yarn over, pull through all four loops. And then once we have that, we're going to go into our base with a slip stitch. So what we're gonna do is count up two loops. Here's one, here's two slip stitch into that second loop into the base then once we have that this row of half double crochet is all closed off and then we will continue the pattern from the body so from here we're just going to slip stitch up one loop because this next loop is our slip stitch row so since we did that we're going to flip our work and then into the first two loops we're going to be going in with a decrease so into this first back loop yarn over pull through into the next back loop yarn over pull through we should have three loops on the hook we're going to yarn over pull through all three and this is basically it for the rest of the sleeve we're going to go all the way down with back loop slip stitches once we make it to the end chain up two work our way back with 
back loop half double crochets. And once we make it to the base, we're going to count up two loops, slip stitch into that second loop to close off the half double crochet row. And then to work on the slip stitch row, we're just going to slip stitch up one loop and then work our way down with back loop slip stitches. And we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we reach the middle point of the bottom of our sleeve. And then we'll meet each other back so we can work our way up to the next side. Okay, so we are all back with a good amount of the sweater done. We have our front and our back panel done. I also had the time to finish up another sleeve, almost, we still have to do the cuff. But once when we have made our way all the way down to the middle, we're gonna do the same pattern that we did here on this side. But instead of doing decreases, we're gonna be doing increases going all the way up. And once we make it to the top, we're gonna be going in with a seam, closing off the sleeve. So just to show you guys really quickly, I have made it to the middle loop and then my middle loop actually ended with the row on this side where I ended over here. So I just worked my way back all the way down so that you guys don't need to see me do this row. But I did leave the last loop right here and now we're just going to do an increase on this end. We have just one loop left to go into into this row and it is right here. All we're going to do is do an increase of a half double crochet. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet into that last loop that we have in this row. We're going to insert into that back loop. We're going to be going in with one half double crochet and then we're going to yarn over, do another half double crochet into that same loop. And then this part's going to be the same. We're going to count up the next two available loops. So here's one, here's two insert with a slip stitch. And then that's how we're going to be working our way up the other side of our sleeve. And the next row is going to be back loop slip stitches. So let's just start that off together and then we can do the rest. To start off the next row, we're just going to be slip stitching up one loop. Once we have that, we're going to flip our work. And then into this first available back loop that we have, we're going to be going in with two slip stitches. So all that is is insert. We're going to yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. And then we're going to do that one more time into that same loop yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. And a really quick tip that I have is once when we're working our way back down with half double crochets, this last loop is going to be a little tricky to see. So just try and make sure that you guys go into that loop every single time. Once when you guys are going into your last loop, but that's basically it. Go ahead and keep doing this all the way around until we don't have any more loops left to go into, into this armhole. And then we're going to connect it together. We've now made it all the way around with our sleeve and right before we start connecting the front and the back panel, we're going to want to make sure that our sleeve is turned inside out again, just like how our body was. We want our outside or our pretty sides to be facing each other so that our seam is laying down on the inside. But once we have that, we can get started with going in with a row of single crochet, making sure it goes in through the front loop and the back loop at the same time. And we'll do that all the way down. So getting started on this, we're just going to do the first few with each other because we already know how to do it, but we are going to insert our hook into that next corner that we have, and we're going to pull through, chain up one to secure. And then once we have that, we're going to insert our hook into the next available loop that we have in the front panel, and then also into the next available loop that we have in the back panel, and then single crochet. And that's basically it, exactly the same way that we did the body portion, but we're going to continue to do this all the way down. Once we get to the end, if you guys are working from the end of the sleeve into the body, we're going to cut and tie. But if you guys are lucky enough to be going in this way, you guys don't have to cut and tie because next we're going to be working on the cuff. We've just finished up doing our sleeve. We have flipped it inside out and now we're going to start working on the cuff and the cuff is fairly simple. The first thing that we have to do is go in with a row of single crochet with our base color. And then we're going to take our secondary color, go in with another row of single crochet of that, our base color, another single crochet row, and then we're going to work on the actual cuff portion. So let me just show you guys where to insert your hook when it comes to this first single crochet row. We're going to insert our hook into any one of these loops. It does not matter since it's all going to come around full circle anyways. We're just going to pull this through, chain up one to secure, and then from here we're just going to be basically inserting our hook whenever or whenever wherever we can fit in but try not to put too many into one area because we do need this to cinch in as much as possible so what i like to do since we're working into side half double and then side single this may be a little too much you guys can just eyeball it if you guys want but what i like to do is 
as you guys can see into this first side half double crochet i put one single crochet and then into this next slip stitch row i put one single crochet and then into this next side half double single crochet and then we skip this slip stitch row and go into that next side half double and that's basically it so we're just basically <laughs> or i and just skipping every other slip stitch row going all the way around once we make it to the end we're going to attach it into this first loop with a slip stitch chain up one and cut go in with our secondary color with nothing fancy at all just go in with a regular row of single crochet and then we're going to do that one more time with our base color with another row of single crochet nothing fancy and then we're going to grab our secondary color again go in with our row of single crochet but don't cut and tie that one because we will just start working on the cuff from there so go ahead and get these next one, two, three, four rows done. Once you get to the last one, don't cut and tie, and then I'll show you guys how to do the cuff. We are now here with our cuff. We have our secondary color in, and we didn't cut and tie because we're just going to go straight up with our cuff. And this is going to be fairly simple. You're going to want to measure out and see how long you want your cuff to be. And I'm just going to start off by making a chain of three and a half inches or nine centimeters. Once when I have that chain, I'm going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and we're first going to go in with a row of slip stitches. So we've been doing it for the majority of this top so far. We're just going to insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off, or the check second chain from the hook, and then we're going to pull through everything, just like that. And once we have that, we do the same thing into the next, and the next, and the next, and go all the way down until we get down to the base, and we are going to slip stitch into the base as well. We have done our row of slip stitches all the way down, and what we're going to do next is insert our hook into this next available loop that we have with another slip stitch. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through everything on the hook, and that's how we close off this first row. And once we have that, we're going to slip stitch up the next loop flip our work and from here we're going to be going in with the rest of the pattern which is just back loop slip stitches so taking a look at this next available loop into this chain into that back loop we're going to insert yarn over pull through everything on the hook and we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we make it to the end chain up one flip your work and do more back loop slip stitches once you guys make it to the base slip stitch into the base and then slip stitch up the next available loop and continue doing this all the way around and we will meet each other back so that we can connect it all together we just made it all the way around with our cuff and we're going to attach this the same way that we have attached pretty much everything else i'm just going to talk you guys through it we're just going to sandwich these two pieces together making sure that our sweater is flipped inside out so that the seam is on the inside and then we're just going to insert our hook into the first available loop that we have in the front panel and then the next available loop that we have in the back panel and single crochet everything together once we get to the end we're going to chain up one and cut and then we're going to basically do the same thing that we have here for the turtleneck portion and for the bottom band but we are not going to be switching out the colors so go ahead and get your base color ready so that we can do those pieces right after this we are now all finished with the cuff and i actually went ahead and did the bottom border as well just to show you guys, I'm not going to bore you guys with the details of how to do the turtleneck because it's exactly the same as this. But all I did is went in with a row of single crochet right where our base color is. So with our base color, we're just going to go in with a single crochet all the way around. And then I went in with a row of single crochet with our secondary color. And then I made a band that is the length that I want. And the band that I have right here for the bottom is a total of two and a half inches or six centimeters and the way that we do the turtleneck is going to be exactly the same as that and the cuff i'm just going to make a chain up here of five inches or 13 centimeters but i'll meet you guys back once we have both of these guys done we're now all finished up with doing our turtleneck and our bottom border together and now the next thing we're going to do is optional but kind of necessary because they're pockets but we're just going to go in with a pocket along the bottom, but this is going to be a little different because these are going to be pockets that resemble hoodie pockets. So it's going to be one long one. So from one end to the next, you're going to have to measure out and see how long you want your pockets to be. But keep in mind that we will have a border as well. So you're going to want to shrink that in by about a half an inch. 
and I went ahead and measured mine and I'm going to go in with a chain of 7 inches or 18 centimeters to start off. We now have our chain for our pocket and what we're going to do from here is the same pattern that we did for the body. So we're first going to go in with a row of half double crochet. We're going to block off this last chain, do a chain up of 2 that counts as a half double crochet, prepare for a half double crochet and then go into that loop that we blocked off or the third loop from our hook with a half double. And once we have that, we're going to be going all the way back down our chain, putting one half double into every loop. Once we make it to the end, we're going to follow the body, like I said, so we're going to do a row of back loop slip stitches. But I'll show you guys how to do that once we get there just one more time. We have our first row of half double crochets all finished up. And like I said, we're going to be doing back loop slip stitches. So we're going to chain up one, flip our work, and then into this first back loop that we have, we're going to insert our hook yarn over, pull through everything on our hook, and that is a slip stitch. And we're going to keep doing this pattern all the way down. Once we make it to the end, we're going to chain up two and do back loop half double crochets. And I'm going to keep doing this until we have about an inch or three centimeters of our work. We now have about an inch of our work all finished up, and what we're going to do from here is do some decreases on each edge to resemble a hoodie pocket. So all that is is going to be going in with a decrease back loop half double crochet and the easiest way to do it is to make sure that we're going in with our half double crochet row so if you guys have just ended a half double crochet row then go ahead and do another row of back loop slip stitches and then we can start this up together well, once we get here we're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet we're going to flip our work prepare for a half double crochet go into that first back loop with our hook we're going to yarn over pull through into that next back loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three just like that and then from here this is going to be normal we're going to go in putting one half double crochet into every loop going back down our work leaving the last three loops so that we can do another decrease into the third and second to last loop and then put one half double into the last We have left three loops into this previous row and all we're going to do is go in with our half double crochet decreases. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, go into that third to last loop, yarn over pull through, into the second to last loop, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through all four loops and then into that last loop we're going to be going in with one regular back loop half double just like that. And then from here we're going to be going in with another row of back loop slip stitches and then I will just be doing one more row of back loop half double decreases so just decreasing on both ends and then from there we're just going to work our way up with the same pattern that we have so once when you guys have finished up your second row of back loop half double decreases don't do any more just go ahead and go straight up with this pattern and then I'll meet you guys back once we have all that done So this is what I have once when I have the pocket size that I want and just to let you guys know from one end down to the next I have a total of 5 inches or 13 centimeters and it may look a little small but that's because we're going to be going around with a couple rows of single crochet for a border but the first thing we're going to do is do a chain up of one and then we're going to start working along the sides that we have and this is going to be fairly simple into this first side half double crochet we're going to put one ooh, single crochet just like that and there's going to be a loop that's right next to our slip stitch row we're going to go into there with a single crochet and then do the same thing over here we're going to skip all the way over to this next side half double single crochet loop right next to our slip stitch row single crochet and we're going to keep doing this all the way around until we reach this first chain that we did we're going to connect with a slip stitch and then i'm going to be switching out my colors and it's basically going to be the same way that we did the cuff so it's going to be the base color which is what we're working on there yeah our secondary color our base color again and then our secondary color and that's just going to be all with single crochets super easy peasy so once when we have all of those layers done i'll meet you guys back so that i can show you guys how to attach it all to the sweater We have finished doing our pocket and I've already attached the top side just to make sure that we're doing it right and it is looking just fine. So I'm just going to talk you guys how to do the bottom but it is super easy. We're basically just going to weave our 
yarn just in and out of the loops making sure that it all stays even and then that's about it so I'm just going to talk you guys through how to do the bottom so for the first little bit we did an inch of no increases no decreases we're going to start from where that inch starts so for me it starts off right here because we don't want anything to fall out the sides we want a little edge along there we're just going to insert our hook anywhere through the bottom this is going to be all up to you wherever you guys feel fit we're going to insert our hook and then we're going to grab our same colored yarn as our border color insert that onto our hook and all we're going to do is pull that through and then we're just going to pull a decent amount of slack on the bottom because we're going to be working with this so that we can use this to go all the way around and back up here but from here super easy we're just going to insert our hook into the next available loop that we have going down our pocket and also going down the next row that we have in our sweater we're going to feel for the yarn underneath hook it onto our hook and then if we can pull it through here we go pull it through and then we're just going to pull the tail end through because that's what we're working with and that's it we're just going to keep doing this all the way down making sure that we're going in and out of every loop that we have and then we're just going to double check make sure that everything is even until we get up to here which is the other side of our inch slab that we have and then you guys can go ahead and do this straight across row which is super easy we're just going to go all the way down cut and tie make sure that everything is secure and then once we have that done we are all finished with the sweater you guys can weave in your ends and then that is it we've woven in the ends and this is our magnificent turtleneck sweater with a hoodie pocket when we came up with the designs i was super excited but unsure about the color choice but i gotta say it works and it works well i am beyond happy with how this looks and how comfortable it is if you guys agree please give this video a thumbs up it's right beneath the video it lets youtube and i know you're enjoying the videos and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow and gain traction but if you didn't like it give this video a thumbs down but be sure to leave me a comment letting me know why you didn't like it or if you have any questions, requests, or if y'all just want to say hi, I usually reply pretty quick. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's right beneath the video. It'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel, get you a bit more priority when it comes to requests, and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow so we can keep making all these great videos for you guys. If you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but please hit that notification bell to know when there's a new video uploaded for you right away. And please share with your crafty friends, every bit helps. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description, and if you guys use those links, that also goes towards helping out the channel. And lastly, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.